I was reading a verse in Ecclesiastes today that reminded me of a great story talking about the value of wisdom, and I want to share that with you today in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. The story goes that there was a young lumberjack who was pretty cocky, and he challenged this old-timer lumberjack to a duel for the day. And they were going to have a competition as to who could cut down the most trees in the day. So they took off and began cutting, and that young buck was just hacking away with his axe and working through the forest. And it just seemed like every time he looked over to where the old man was, he was sitting on a log. And he thought, wow, I have got him now. This guy is so old. He's so tired. He's got to rest so much. So they finished the day, counted up the trees. Unbelievably, the old man beat him by a reasonable margin. The young buck comes up to him and said, how in the world did you do that? Every time I looked over, you were sitting on a log, resting. And the old man just looked at him with a little twinkle in his eye and said, well, I was sitting on that log, but I wasn't just resting. I was sharpening my ax. And that was the key to have a sharp ax. Listen to what it says in Ecclesiastes 10.10. 10. This is Solomon speaking. He says, since a dull ax requires great strength, sharpen the blade. That's the value of wisdom. It helps you succeed. If you want to succeed in life, you need to sharpen the blade. What does that mean to us? We're trying to fight through the forests of sin, guilt, bad relationships, temptations, everything that comes our way in a day. And we're hacking away with a dull ax and we're hardly getting anywhere. So what do we need to do? We need to sharpen our ax. How do we do it? By getting into the Word of God, reading God's Word, praying, allowing the Holy Spirit to fill us and give us the power and the strength that we need to attack the forest because then we're not doing it in our own strength. We're doing it with the sharp ax of God, the sharp ax of the Holy Spirit, which allows us to fight through those forests so much quicker and to be so much more successful. So can I challenge you today, sharpen your ax. Don't be trying to cut the trees down on your own with a dull ax, sharpen it with God's word, being close to the Father, walking in his Holy Spirit, and you, my friend, will find success today. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.